Okay, let's see what is inside. Ooh, a lovely case for my smaller eyepieces. Ah, oh, that's a bigger one. It's like a Pelly case. Let me open it. Okay, this looks like a Pelly case. It's not a Pelly case, but it looks like it. So, mm, that's lovely. Let me open and see. Oh, lovely. Good quality. You can see. The lock looks a little loose. But we will see anyway. Let me just open the rest. Okay. Not bad. This one a little bit loose, but anyway. Let me just remove the plastic completely. Nice case. Let me just open it and see how it will be. It's not bad that the door actually opens a little bit yeah, different. Okay, two layers here. And let me see, I never looked what is underneath. Do they have a key or something? No, underneath is just empty. There's a layer of foam, uncubed, but this one on top is cubed, so good. Dice, as they say. Yeah. So there is a place for locks. You can lock it. If I close it, how it will be? Is it strong enough to hold on? It looks strong enough. Um, I feel there is not enough friction on this one, but this one has enough friction. Probably if I put a little cello tape, it will create that, or a duct tape. Looks a little loose here, but we will see. Anyway, this is for lighter eyepieces, so hopefully that will not be no problem. So let's bring the eyepieces and see what we can do. This is a box for lighter eyepieces, uh, 82 degrees to 70, 60, 8, and uh, 52, whatever that is light, and I just don't need the heavy eyepiece for the telescopes that I want to use with this eyepiece. Okay, I start from the naglers probably. These are the lightweight naglers. I have heavy ones also, but this is a lightweight one. Okay, this is the way that I will place these eyepieces. So it will start from the four millimeter Um, Nirvana then goes five millimeter Nagler, these are all 82 degrees, then goes to seven millimeter Nagler. Uh, sorry, Nirvana. I have a seven millimeter Nagler which I can put here instead of the nine. Um, let me do that. Yeah, seven millimeter Nagler here, then the nine millimeter Nagler. Then the 16 millimeter Nirvana. Then we jump to 24 millimeter Panoptic, 28 millimeter RKA Edmond Scientific RKE, and then this excellent Celestron uh, 30 millimeter, which is the widest possible angle you can get in a uh, in a um, uh, one and a quarter barrel eyepiece. I think probably that's the way I would put it. Okay, of course I have a binary viewing set of this and this and uh, some of the other binary viewers. Probably I should put these things away for a binary viewing. Mm. Or I just make a simple set for binary viewing. But at the moment I just make a space for this because I want to use this. I want to use this. And it's good to have them all close together. Nine in this set. If I put them across like this, I will have only eight spaces. But if I put it like this, hopefully I will have nine spaces. I could put more eyepieces there, but uh, there is no space there. So I'm just jumping them plus all of the teleview and so. So I think that's what I will do. Mm -hmm. 
it would have been nice to have a Nagler 20 or 22 and uh, 27, 26, but they're quite expensive. So I have a Nagler 31, but that's not the place for it. So, um, oh, should I move that and put it in? No, this is a lightweight eyepiece. I want you just to have lightweight eyepieces. This is based purely on the weight. I have many other eyepieces that I want to bag them put them on hard case, but this is this will be something that covers everything for me if I want to observe. So I go for this arrangement at the moment. Then if I didn't want it I just can change the phone. As you know what I will do I will just uh, make the outline of the eyepiece, push them down and then uh, press the half halfway the eyepiece uh, inside the foam, diced foam, and that will be done. So let's see how far I can do. Okay, as you can see the 4mm one, I press this foam down, like that. And 4mm one, I put it, press it down, and it stays there, hopefully. And when I close the case, of course, the pressure of the case will be uh, making the space for it. So the next one is the 5mm Nagle. So I've made this space for 5mm Nagle, just pushing it down. It's a little bit asymmetrical, but that's that's what I have to do. And let's see how it is. And now this is the turn for 7mm Nirvana, which will be here. Let's see how it is. Okay, the 7mm Nirvana has now found its place. And uh, now I'll go for the 7mm Nagler. Okay, as you see, 7mm Nagler is a very straight, easy one. So just put it there and put the number in a way that is visible. Press it down, that's it, it stays there. Next one is the big chunky 9mm Nagler, that's the original one, NJ one. So it will be a little bit bigger. The new ones are slimmer and uh, better to fit. But I have this one, so I just use the space for that. And see how it will be. Uh -huh. So that will be the space for it. Okay, that's the. 9mm Nagler, then we have a big jump to 16mm Nirvana. I've heard 12mm Nagler is not good, people had had it, they regret what about it, they gave it away. 30mm is the same but very chunky, so it's not good for being a lightweight eyepiece. I think 16mm will cover mine, and uh, that's what I will do. As you can see, the the Nirvana 16mm is now placed in its place and anything that goes by mistake down I can pluck it up I will do it now so 16mm Nirvana also is being placed now we go to the 24mm Panoptic and Let's put this down also. Okay, this is the 24mm panoptic space I've created. A little bit asymmetric, but hopefully that will hold it. Yeah. I think that cannot be done by a little bit applying pressure on the foam. Removing is easy. Putting it back is also easy. It stays where it should be. And yeah, that's nice. Okay, now it's the time for the. Um, this is the RKE Edmund Scientific Industrial Optics uh, RKE 28mm. It's one of the best eyepieces I've ever seen. Practically, the eyepiece disappears, and you see just uh, feel the stars. So, I want to use this more. And this is a lightweight eyepiece, so it can be used in this case. So it doesn't take much space, so I'm just putting this now in. And as you can see, two of the dice cubes, 2x4 
dust cubes dimension that easily fits this and if I press it it just stays there now we go to the Celestron uh, Ultima series 30mm uh, like this which is equal to the 30mm Takahashi LE it's one of the best eyepieces I've ever seen so um, I'm going to use this in the light um, art case and again as a kind of LE eyepiece is a little bit wider than the, the field of view is 52 or 55 uh, 52 I think degrees compared to 42 of a uh, puzzle uh, it doesn't take more than 2 by 5 uh, of these diced foams so it's quite easy to place it here and it should stay there easily so 30 millimeter Ultima the whole package is now looking nice and neat you just need to close the case and let them to settle I take a few photographs okay these are the light eyepieces that I will use a lot so these eyepieces now the lightweight ones now I have a set of these lightweight ones from 4 millimeter to 30 millimeter they are not less than the field of view is not less than 50 uh, degrees. I could put a, a Wixen HR 2.4 here, but that was a field of view is really tight, 40 or 38 degrees. So these are these are that's that's the way they are, all right? They're all right. And because I'm covering all the bases, I don't need a bar low. If I want to just add the bar low, that will be four. If I put add a bar low of two x, this will be two and a half. This will be three and a half. This will be uh, three and a half that will be four and a half that will be eight that will be mm, 12 that will be 14 and this will be 15 degrees 15 millimeter depending on the field of view and the magnification that they give with a specific telescope they're all right now that's the moment of truth i'm just going to close the case easy relatively this one is a bit loose but yeah, it's now tight. Let's hold it. I can put a lock here, even a tiny lock. And let's just see how it feels. Yeah, it's dirty enough. That's perfect. That's perfect. What, what I wanted. Now, from the case back to the painting of the Andromeda Galaxy.